Welcome, gents. When people come across a Sigma male who stands out as the chosen one, their reactions are far from ordinary. It's not just about admiration or respect, it's about subtle, often unnoticed shifts in behavior and mindset. This isn't your typical story of someone rising to the top with cheers and applause. Instead, it's a deeper, more complex response that people might not even be fully aware of. They adjust their actions, thoughts, and even their goals, sometimes without saying a word, because they sense something different, something powerful in his presence. In this exploration, we'll dive into the 12 unique and often unspoken ways people react when they recognize a Sigma male as someone truly extraordinary. I encourage you to watch till the end for better understanding, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to join like-minded gents. Let's get started, gents. Number one, under the radar envy. Under the radar envy is one of the most complex and hidden reactions people have when they encounter a Sigma male who is clearly exceptional. It's the kind of envy that isn't loud or obvious, but lurks beneath the surface, masked by smiles and polite conversation. People see his effortless rise, his ability to succeed without appearing to struggle like everyone else, and it stirs something inside them. They can't help but compare their own efforts to his, and the difference gnaws at them. Yet they never let it show. Instead, they play the role of the supportive friend, the colleague who always seems happy for his success. But behind that facade lies a different story. The envy they feel is subtle but persistent. It's not just about wanting what he has, it's about resenting the ease with which he seems to achieve it. They might even convince themselves that they're not envious at all, just realistic or critical. They tell themselves they're just waiting for him to slip up, to prove that he's not as untouchable as he seems. This quiet resentment can lead to small, passive-aggressive actions, a sarcastic comment here, a bit of undermining there, but nothing overt. They don't want to draw attention to their feelings, so they keep it hidden, simmering beneath the surface. It's a slow burn, one that eats away at them more than it affects him. Yet they continue to put on the mask of admiration, unwilling to admit that his success is a mirror reflecting their own insecurities. Number two, internalized competition. Sigma males often find themselves at the center of a hidden competition, whether they realize it or not. People around them might feel an unspoken urge to measure up or even outdo them, sensing that the Sigma male sets a high standard without explicitly saying so. This competition isn't always hostile or aggressive. It's more of a quiet acknowledgement of the Sigma male's capabilities and unique qualities. He doesn't flaunt his skills or accomplishments, but the way he carries himself naturally sets a high bar that others can't help but notice. What makes this hidden competition intriguing is that it's not about trying to bring the Sigma male down. Instead, it's often about trying to rise to his level. His quiet confidence, self-reliance, and ability to excel without needing validation challenge others to push themselves harder. It's as if his mere presence is a reminder that there's always room for improvement, and this can be both motivating and frustrating for those who find themselves in his orbit. People might not openly admit it, but there's a certain envy in knowing that he sets a standard that isn't easy to reach. The Sigma male's ability to inspire this kind of silent competition speaks to his influence. Even without trying, he becomes a benchmark for others, encouraging them to step up their game and strive for more. In this way, he pushes people to be better, often without saying a word, simply by being himself. Number three, calculated distance. When people realize that a Sigma male is someone special, the chosen one, so to speak, they often instinctively pull back. It's not because he's intimidating in the traditional sense. He doesn't need to be loud or command attention to make an impact. There's no need for him to raise his voice or try to dominate a room. Instead, it's his quiet confidence and the sharp instincts that set him apart, making people pause and take notice. There's a certain gravity to his presence that can be unsettling. He has an uncanny ability to see things for what they are cutting through the noise and distractions that cloud so many people's minds. 
This clarity can be disarming to those who aren't quite ready to face the truths about themselves or the situations they're in. It's as if he holds up a mirror to the people around him, reflecting their own insecurities and doubts. His very presence can make people feel exposed, like he's already figured them out without them saying a word. This realization can cause others to instinctively keep their distance, not because they dislike him, but because they're not prepared to confront their own shortcomings. The Sigma male doesn't seek to make anyone uncomfortable, but his ability to cut to the core of things often has that effect. It's a testament to his depth and understanding, qualities that can make people both admire him and feel uneasy around him all at once. Number four, testing boundaries. In any social or professional setting, there are always those who feel the need to test boundaries, and when it comes to a Sigma male, this is especially true. People see his quiet strength, calm confidence, and ability to stand his ground without needing to make a scene. This draws them in, but it also makes them want to see just how far they can push. It's almost like a game. They want to find out what his limits are and if they can match or even break them. These individuals aren't always hostile. Sometimes they're just curious or driven by their own insecurities. They might throw subtle challenges his way, make cutting remarks, or try to one-up him in a discussion. They may even question his decisions or test his patience just to see how he'll respond. They're probing, trying to figure out if his strength is genuine or just a front. What they often don't realize is that a Sigma male's boundaries aren't there to be easily crossed. He knows himself well understands his worth, and doesn't get rattled by attempts to shake him. When people push, he doesn't react defensively or lose his cool. Instead, he remains composed, showing that his strength isn't just in his actions, but in his character. The more they test him, the more they come to understand that his strength isn't an act, but a deeply ingrained part of who he is. In trying to find his breaking point, they often end up learning more about their own limitations than his. Number five, attempted undermining. When people recognize the extraordinary potential in a Sigma male, they might not always respond with support. Instead, some will resort to a more subtle form of sabotage, attempted undermining. This isn't about making bold public attacks or confronting him directly. Rather, it's about the quieter, more insidious tactics designed to chip away at his reputation and slow his progress. This could manifest in a few different ways. They might start spreading whispers or rumors, planting seeds of doubt among his colleagues or friends. These are not outright lies, but little doubts that make others question his credibility or intentions. It could be as simple as hinting that his success might not be as genuine as it seems, or suggesting that he's not as capable as he appears. Others might subtly undermine his achievements by minimizing his contributions in conversations or failing to acknowledge his successes publicly. They might overlook his ideas in meetings or subtly shift the focus away from his accomplishments. It's a way to create a cloud of uncertainty around him, hoping to distract from his genuine potential and create obstacles in his path. The goal of this attempted undermining isn't always about personal animosity. Sometimes it's driven by a deep-seated fear of his potential impact or a desire to protect one's own status. While it may seem small or insignificant, these actions are carefully calculated to create doubt and delay his rise, all while maintaining a facade of civility. Number six, overanalyzing his choices. Some people just can't help but overanalyze a Sigma male's every move. They watch him closely, scrutinizing every decision he makes, hoping to uncover some hidden flaw or mistake. It's not because they want to understand him better or learn from his choices. No, their real motivation is much less flattering. They want to prove to themselves that he's fallible, that he's not as strong, confident, or capable as he seems. This obsessive analysis often stems from their own insecurities. They see someone who moves through life with a quiet confidence, who makes decisions without needing anyone else's approval, and it makes them uneasy. They want to believe that everyone has the same doubts and fears they do, so they dig deep looking for any sign of weakness or error. They might dissect his words, speculate about his motivations, or even gossip about his actions, all in an effort to convince themselves that he's not perfect. 
but what they often fail to realize is that Sigma males aren't interested in being perfect. They're aware of their own strengths and weaknesses and don't feel the need to hide them or prove themselves to anyone. While others are busy overanalyzing his choices, he's focused on what matters to him, unbothered by their scrutiny. The irony is that in their attempts to find flaws, they often end up revealing their own insecurities more than any real shortcomings in him. This overanalysis highlights their desire to feel better about themselves, proving that, in their eyes, he's still someone worth watching. Number seven, resentment lurks. Resentment can be a sneaky thing. Sometimes it creeps in not because someone has done anything wrong, but simply because their very presence makes others feel uncomfortable. When a Sigma male walks into a room with his quiet confidence and self-assuredness, some people can't help but feel a twinge of resentment. It's not about anything he's said or done. It's about what he represents. For many, seeing someone who is genuinely comfortable in their own skin, who doesn't need validation from others, and who succeeds on their own terms can bring up a lot of hidden insecurities. It forces them to confront the areas in their own lives where they feel lacking or unsure. They might look at the Sigma male and see someone who is achieving things they wish they could achieve or living in a way they wish they could live. His success, his independence, and his calm confidence can all serve as stark reminders of what they feel they're missing. So instead of admiring him or being inspired, some people choose to harbor quiet resentment. They may never say it out loud, but deep down there's a feeling of inadequacy that they can't quite shake off. It's easier to feel resentful than to face their own insecurities or to recognize that maybe, just maybe, the Sigma male's approach to life is something worth emulating. His existence, in its unapologetic authenticity, highlights their own doubts and uncertainties, which can be a hard pill to swallow. Number eight, attempted imitation. When people see a Sigma male as exceptional, their admiration often goes beyond mere acknowledgement. They start trying to imitate him. This isn't just about copying his style or mannerisms. It's a deeper effort to embody what they perceive as his secret to success and confidence. They might adopt his way of speaking, his dress sense, or even his work habits, believing that by mimicking his actions, they can tap into his unique qualities. This imitation can be seen in various forms. They might start mirroring his approach to problem solving or adopt his calm demeanor in stressful situations. Some might even try to replicate his social strategies, thinking that by doing so, they can achieve similar levels of respect and influence. In their view, the Sigma male becomes a model, a template for how to navigate the world with confidence and grace. However, this attempted at imitation often misses the mark. The essence of the Sigma male isn't just in what he does, but in who he is. His strength comes from a deep-rooted sense of self and an authentic way of navigating life that can't be easily replicated. Those who try to copy him without understanding his inner qualities may find that they only capture a shadow of what makes him unique. True success and confidence come from within, and while imitation might offer some insights, it's genuine self-discovery that leads to real transformation. Number nine, pretending not to notice. In social settings, you might notice a curious behavior towards the Sigma male. Some people pretend not to notice him. They act like he's just another face in the crowd, as if ignoring him could somehow make him less significant. It's almost as if they believe that by pretending he's not there or not important, they can minimize his influence or make him fade into the background. This kind of behavior isn't uncommon when someone feels threatened by another person's presence or potential. By ignoring the Sigma male, they think they're downplaying his role, denying the reality of his impact or simply not giving him the satisfaction of recognition. It's a subtle tactic, often executed with casual indifference, meant to send a message. You're not that special. But the irony here is that this very act of pretending not to notice him only serves to highlight his importance. It's like trying to ignore the sun and hoping it stops shining. The more they pretend he doesn't matter, the more obvious it becomes that he does. Their denial doesn't diminish his influence. If anything, it underscores it, drawing even more attention to the unique energy he brings into the room. Ignoring the Sigma male is an attempt to maintain control or avoid feeling overshadowed. 
but it often has the opposite effect, revealing just how much he stands out and how deeply his presence is felt, even by those who try to pretend otherwise. Number 10. Projecting their insecurities. When people encounter a Sigma male, their reactions can sometimes be less about him and more about them. Instead of addressing their own insecurities, some individuals project their issues onto him. They might label him as cold, arrogant, or unapproachable, not because he actually exhibits these traits, but because they struggle to cope with his strength and self-assurance. The Sigma male's quiet confidence and independence can inadvertently make others uncomfortable. It highlights their own uncertainties and shortcomings, making them feel exposed. Instead of confronting these feelings, they deflect by criticizing him. They might say he's detached or distant, as if his demeanor somehow validates their own sense of inadequacy. This projection isn't necessarily a conscious act, it's a defense mechanism. By placing the blame on him, they avoid the harder work of self-reflection and personal growth. It's easier to point fingers than to face the uncomfortable truths about oneself. His strength and self-sufficiency can make others feel small, and their response is to try to diminish him in their own eyes. Ultimately, this projection says more about them than about him. His presence forces people to confront their own vulnerabilities, and rather than dealing with those, they project their insecurities onto him. His strength remains unshaken while their criticisms only reveal the depth of their own internal struggles. Number 11. Unsolicited advice. Some people find it hard to accept that a Sigma male operates on his own terms. His autonomy and self-direction can be threatening, especially to those who feel the need to assert their relevance or authority. That's why sometimes they offer him unsolicited advice. It's their way of trying to fit themselves into his story, to carve out a role as a guide or mentor even when he doesn't need one. This advice isn't always meant to be helpful. More often, it's a subtle attempt to remind him, and themselves, that they still have something to offer. It's as if they're saying, I see you're doing well on your own, but you still need my input. They recognize his potential, and might even see him as someone special, yet they can't resist trying to insert themselves into his journey. They want to feel like they have some influence over him, even if he clearly doesn't seek their approval or guidance. The irony is that Sigma males are usually very aware of what's happening. They can see through the unsolicited advice, recognizing it for what it is, a way for others to reassert their own importance. The Sigma male doesn't need external validation, and he certainly doesn't need someone telling him how to navigate his path. But he often lets these interactions slide, understanding that the advice says more about the giver's insecurities than about his own needs. It's just another example of how others struggle to accept his independence and the way he naturally stands out without needing anyone's help. Number 12. Attempts to befriend. When people recognize the unique qualities of a Sigma male, they often find themselves drawn to him, not always out of genuine friendship, but because they sense that being close to him could benefit them. There's a subtle shift in how they approach him, with an underlying motivation that goes beyond simple companionship. They see his quiet confidence, his ability to navigate life on his own terms, and they realize he's someone who's going places. He's a key player, a person of influence, even if he doesn't seek it out or flaunt it. This recognition leads some to make calculated attempts to befriend him. They might start showing more interest in his hobbies, trying to align themselves with his values, or offering help where it wasn't asked for. But their intentions are often transparent. They're not trying to form a genuine connection. They're trying to hitch their wagon to his star. They want to be associated with his success, to be seen as part of his circle, because they believe it will elevate their own status. However, the Sigma male is perceptive. He's not easily fooled by these attempts. He values authenticity and can quickly discern when someone's motives aren't pure. He may tolerate these attempts with his usual calm demeanor, but he's unlikely to let anyone get close unless they prove themselves to be genuine. In the end, those who seek to benefit from his success without offering real friendship will find themselves kept at arm's length while he continues to move forward on his own path, undeterred and unfazed. 
When people recognize a Sigma male as the chosen one, their reactions are as varied as they are telling. They might attempt to imitate his behavior, hoping to capture even a fraction of his essence, or pretend not to notice his impact, trying to downplay his significance. Some may harbor quiet resentment, their insecurities laid bare by his unshakable confidence, while others offer unsolicited advice, struggling to maintain relevance in the face of his independence. The ways people respond reflect their own vulnerabilities and needs. Those who test his boundaries are often driven by a desire to measure themselves against his strength, while others might project their insecurities onto him, finding fault where there is none. Passive sabotage becomes a tactic for those who can't compete openly, and hidden competition reveals the underlying tension of trying to outshine him. In each reaction, whether it's overt or subtle, the true impact of a Sigma male's presence becomes clear. His very existence challenges others to confront their own limitations and desires. By simply being himself, he forces those around him to grapple with their own sense of worth and place. In the end, these responses are a testament to his unique power and influence, showcasing how deeply his strength and autonomy resonate with everyone who encounters him. Thank you, gents, for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now and God bless. And God.